Well, hello, my fine gardening friends. How the devil are you? Well, I am in the greenhouse, as you can see, and I thought I'd do a quick video, a little short video, because I am planting up some jalapeno peppers, or chilies, whatever you want to call them, and I thought I'd, I'd uh, show you what I'm, I'm up to while I'm doing it. Now, you guys that may have watched the video previous to this, where I've just planted all my tomatoes, as you can see in this centre bed, will know that I have given, uh, I've reserved pride of place at the at the front of the bed. So that's the south that way at the front of the bed here for the peppers. So the tomatoes will grow nice and tall, and they'll obviously put shade over that way. But nice and sunny, this front bed got lots of nice nutrients in in here. Obviously, been nice and warm, being the greenhouse. So I thought I would um, I'd plant them up. Now, there's a couple of things I, we need to think about when we're doing peppers. Oh, by the way, if I wasn't, when I'm not planting them in the bed, so I'm not gonna plant all the chilies in this bed. I normally plant them in a pot, actually, in the greenhouse, about that big. I think that's something like a 12 inch pot. Where's it, where have we got there? I think so, that's about 12 inches. Cross, something like that. Nice, deep pot and uh, just ordinary compost, a good peat-free compost, by the way, peat-free. Peat-free compost in there, and you know, feed them every couple of weeks. That will do just as well. You can grow some great chilies, as you can see that I have grown in the pictures there. Um, some beautiful chilies in, in pots this size. But I like to put some in the bed. I always have a go outside, but I never really get that much success with uh, chilies outside. Obviously we've got a short season here in Nova Scotia. You know, it's June now, it's only just starting to warm up. By September, by mid-September, we could be having a frost. So, you know, very short season. Anyway, in the greenhouse a bit nicer. This video is supposed to be a short one. Right, so, first things first, is my jalapeno peppers. Now, they are nice and straight, like my tomatoes, nice and tall. For my peppers and chilies, I don't want that. I want them to be bushy. So what I'm going to do is cut off the tops of all of these chilies, and even if they were a little bit bushy now, there is a few flowers coming there. I don't really want flowers at the moment. Again, like my tomatoes, at this early stage of the season, I want them to put all of their efforts into growing into nice strong plants, and then next month they can start flowering to their heart's content and setting the fruit. So let's, just as you can see, as you can see there, I'm just gonna cut off the top there and then that'll stimulate more bushy plants along the way. So let me just do that to the last remaining tops. In fact, Et voila. And then I'm just gonna plant them up. Nice and easy, nothing special. You don't have to plant them particularly deeply, like I do with the uh, tomatoes. So let's get in a bit nearer for this, I think. So here we are, a little bit nearer. Basically, I'm going to plant these about a foot apart again. So nice and easy. And again, I'm gonna make, let me do one a bit more central. Where's my things gone? Here we are. So about there, so I reckon, let's get that in. I'm gonna make a little well around the stem again, just so that when I pour the water in, it doesn't all run off that way, it will sort of go straight down to the roots. Now I've got some uh, lettuce here at the moment, they're not going to be here for that long. Another couple of weeks. One, two, I reckon I'll get, I reckon I'll get four in here. Let's put one here.
There we go. And that'll leave me two left, which I'll put in pots, and we'll see which ones do the better. There we go. Easy as that. Give them a quick water. Need to do a well, don't I? Forgot about that. There we go, as simple as that. Like I said, same thing in a pot, if you're gonna use a pot, and feed every couple of weeks, and we'll be coming back to have a look, make sure they're nice and bushy. Jobs are good.